Hi, my name is Alex, and in this session we'll discuss how to use the top end recipe to retrieve the first rows of a dataset. The primary use case for the top end recipe is to allow you to focus on the most extreme rows in a dataset, according to a sort key. For example, you can use top end to retrieve the three largest orders in a transaction log by sorting the dataset according to the value of each order, and then keeping only the first three rows. Now let's look at a live project. We start with the dataset representing the order log for a retail company. If we want to compare the 10 largest orders made by customers who are targeted by the marketing campaign versus the 10 largest orders made by customers who aren't, we can use the top end recipe to retrieve those orders. In the flow, I'll select the orders dataset. This opens a menu of visual recipes on the right side of the screen, from which I'll select Top End. This opens the recipe creation dialog, and orders is already listed as an input. Optionally, we can give the output dataset a more descriptive name, or change the output storage location. Then click Create Recipe. This adds the Top End recipe to the flow, and brings us to the recipe's Top End tab will retrieve the top 10 rows. We'll sort by the total value from the largest order to the smallest. And then we'll retrieve rows from groups of rows identified by campaign. We can also compute some additional statistics that are added as new columns for each row. Other steps provide additional options for refining the input and output of the recipe. Filters allows you to keep or drop rows based on your criteria. Computed columns allows you to create new columns based on SQL or DSS compute syntax. Retrieve columns allows you to select a subset of columns to use in the output dataset. Finally, let's look at the output step. This gives you a chance to review the columns of the output dataset and their storage types. Additionally, you can set the engine that will be used at runtime. Here we are running an SQL. When running on an SQL or Spark engine, you can view the query underlying this recipe. Now save and run the recipe. When the job finishes, you can see the details of the job and explore the output dataset to see the largest purchases by customers not in the campaign versus customers who were and customers where that inf information is missing. We can also go back to the flow and see how it has been extended to include the new recipe and dataset. Thanks for watching. To learn more about our visual recipes, see the other entries in this series and learning resources on our website.